Hey guys, what's up? I think it's the 8th video on the React series and this is going to be a pretty much a continuation of the previous one. Well, every video in the series is a continuation of the previous one. But this one more so because we aren't picking up any new feature or something. We are just going to continue in on working on the animation and trying to get it to work. So, uh, to give you guys a rundown, in the previous video, we got this slide enter animation to work. Uh, you, look, you must look closely like when I add a to do, then it slides into its place. Yeah, like that. Now, the thing is, when you delete one, uh, we don't have exit animations, and I'm stumped on this. I'm not able to figure out how do we get exit animations to work. Another thing that we want to see is um, like when we add a to do, this one has low priority, and then we add another to do two and give it a med okay so now when you click this chip it just snaps into place and this chip also snaps into place so there's no real f visual feedback rather than this uh, janky automatic thing that's happening so I was thinking maybe we could animate this chip in that would look neater and maybe even you know uh, get this stuff uh, a different animation than this slide because slide looks really abrupt. So let's get started by changing the animation on these individual to do loops. So over here we can see we are importing slide from material UI slash course slash slide. Oh, sorry, I forgot to zoom in for you guys. Yeah, I think that's more convenient, right? So what I want to do is uh, rather than slide, there's another effect called fade. So I import fade from at the rate material UI slash fade. Yeah. And rather than having the slide component, I'm going to uh, change it up with the fade component, both opening and closing tags. Yeah. And that should mean that our component now fades in instead of sliding in. Let's see. Yeah, it did fade in, but our timeout is really quick. It's just 200 milliseconds. Slide was a more apparent animation, so we could see it coming in. But for fade, I guess we'll have to increase the timeout. So here we have declared the timeout. Uh, so let's try setting this to 400 and then let's see what's up. Yeah. Yeah, that's more clear that it's feeding in. Let's try adding another one to do two. I am given a priority of medium. There it is. It just feed in pretty nicely. So if we click on this uh, and then go away. So as you can see, this is still very abrupt. Uh, if I was able to figure out how to do list stagger animations, basically, even if this all these are changing places then still it would look good that's how it's supposed to work but i'm not able to figure out how to do, do that in material ui yet i've been digging on it since yesterday so what i think is a nice way would be if we animate this chip in it should still start looking a little better so let's work on that uh, we have the chip over here uh, in the app.js component as we can see, if priority filter is equal to empty string, then we are saying null, like we, we don't have any filter here, so don't put anything here. But then if priority filter is not equal to just uh, an empty string and it is something, then we are returning back the chip. All right. So for this chip, let's see. Uh, let's try giving it a zoom animation. It's pretty similar to fade. But yeah, it also scales up. Fade only uh, fade only transitions in the opacity. Uh, zoom also transition it in transitions in its uh, size. So we'll import zoom from at the rate material 
UI slash core slash zoom cool now that we have zoom we have to just wrap the chip component in zoom and let's see if that works Uh, yeah so we are going to have to give it additional props to make it work but let's see how this goes okay so it <laughs> funnily is not showing anything over here because to zoom we need to give it a prop called in it will signify that when is the element that it, that is being transitioned in comes in and that is when priority filter is not equal to null uh, empty string because if priority filter is empty string we don't have any filter on so there's nothing there but if priority filter is not an empty string then we have a filter that we have to zoom in Uh, priority filter is not defined yeah I missed the T over here I wrote priority filler filer now you see the chip zooms in let me show that to you guys again it's zooming in we can even give it a timeout and try to make the transition quicker let's say 200 milliseconds yeah as you can see uh, the zoom in is quicker but I think 300, 300 should be better uh, that was too quick for my liking ok so if we click a chip it zooms in and shows us the uh, tools that have only a medium priority and I see uh, that this chip looks too big compared to the heading the fab and this chip so what I will say is just set its size to small instead of medium I think it looks better now and since it's zooming in uh, the focus will automatically go to the uh, filter for sure not for sure that's what I'm expecting at least okay so uh, now that we have those down the only thing that I want to figure out is <laughs> what font is being used on this page right now uh, so if you go to the inspector and then style editor or something Ah, uh, no, not style it. Let me just think for a second where did I find the fonts? Yeah, you go to the dev tools in under the instructor tab, you're going to find this table and there's going to be a fonts tab. And here I can see Roboto is being used. So, uh, let's go to Google fonts and get some other font for us. I don't really like the font that's being used right now. <laughs> let's just look for something that we like all right um, so the thing is even if we go to the material UI documentation it suggests that uh, material UI uh, prefers that you use Lato, the font Lato because 
it's uh, designed with Lato in mind. So uh, I'm pretty sure it was somewhere in usage or installation that I saw about it. Uh, let's see, just let's see. Okay, so material UI was designed with the, okay, so yeah, my bad, it wasn't Lato, it was Roboto. Uh, and that is the font that we have right now. But to be honest, I don't like the font, so I'm just gonna mess around and change up the font. Uh, so again, back to Google fonts. Sorry again, my bad for thinking that it was Lato, it was Roboto. I really like Lato, so let's get this one. You're gonna get 400. Uh, yes. We also need 400, so 400, 700, and 900. Uh, you're gonna do this as a link. Okay, so now from Google Fonts, we have got the link for uh, Lato. But so all these links that you have to put in, uh, you will ideally put them inside the head tag of index.html. Yeah. So now that I have that, what I'm gonna do is go to app.js. And then I'll use uh, make styles from, uh, that is given to you by material UI and create a custom hook. So const use styles is equal to make styles. And this is going to be root. Um, font family lato comma area let's hope this works then uh, with this you have to say const styles is equal to use styles all right and then we have a container down here somewhere down here yeah and we just have to give it a class name or styles dot root Damn, it's still using Roboto. Yeah. Never mind, it's not that important. I'll look at how to do this later on. So, uh, to sum up, all we did in this video was uh, now that we when when we add a to do, uh, then it fades in rather than sliding in, and when we add a priority filter. The filter is zoomed in and we also reduce the size of the filter. Uh, we also tried to change the font, but there's some other way to do this, I'm sure. So I'm going to look into it after this video. That's it for today. See you guys.